For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On January 13th, France saw a historic strike by workers in the education sector. Across the country, teachers and other staff members stayed off work and took to the streets, where they were supported by parents. The protests were called for by all major trade unions against the inconsistent policies of the French government towards testing in schools. But it is also directed towards a larger set of demands regarding safe working conditions, better wages and benefits. What was the larger context behind the strike and how has the government treated the education sector? Bassin Ackerman from the education wing of the French union CGT explains. The, the problems are not uh, from this year. It's a problem after two years of health crisis, in fact. Uh, in the education in France, uh, we are in the same point than in Shelley, in fact. Or not, uh, it's worse because in France, more the virus circulates, more the measures are uh, for education are light. Uh, classes are not closed in case of COVID, for example, there is no massive testing campaign, no more isolation measure for contacts, and for the workers, still no protection. Uh, no withdrawal colleague gel, just a simple close mask. And uh, the minister continues to despise us, in fact. The direction stay in holidays. Uh, yesterday, we uh, know that he, the minister was in holiday in Ibiza in Spain uh, for the start of the school in January. He was totally absent. Uh, all these elements create anger among workers. So the last week, it was a, an historic mobilization in education. All trade unions, from the most radical uh, to the, the most liberal, in fact, are uh, agreed for a one-day strike. It was historic for us, and uh, it was an historic success. Uh, more than 75% uh, strikers in schools, and more than 60% of strikers in the middle and high school. And after this day, in my trade union, for example, we prepare a second day of massive strike next Tuesday, the 27th. Uh, this day will be interprofessional with education, of course, but uh, whole uh, public services, of course, like uh, energy, railway workers, and the private sectors too. The theme will be salaries, pensions, and unemployment because since two years of crisis, nothing has been done for the workers, uh, while the capitalists are getting richer than ever, in fact. In the aftermath of the strike, the Prime Minister and other ministers met union representatives and reached agreements on certain demands. What were these key demands of the strike and what was the government's response? In my trade union, we think it was no, no approach for, uh, about our government. Our mobilization, uh, with the mobilization, uh, we see the most important thing, example, is distance learning. It's a good example. After two years, no training, no equipment has, has been put uh, in place by government, nothing in school, nothing in college. And in France, the teachers continue to use their personal computers, personal phones, personal media, to prepare and to work. And uh, we uh, pay with uh, our money, the protection, like mask, like gel, no preparation, total improvisation, in fact. Our demands are simple, in fact, because with the big mobilization last week, we, uh, we obtained crumbs, in fact, but uh, crumbs that we have been asking for two years. Uh, for example, chirurgical mask. We uh, ask about this uh, since two years, and after the mobilization, government say, oh, okay, uh, we will give you uh, about a chirurgical mask. So uh, today, our demos, demands are simple, like a protection for the workers, uh, chirurgical mask or uh, uh, gel or FFP2 uh, mask. We would like to close the class if there are cases of COVID, in fact, and uh, we want recruitment of teachers, school nurses, and uh, social workers for the families. We want better salaries uh, that have been blocked for more 10 years in France for uh, education. And uh, we uh, want to uh, a post monument of exam who are children uh, from March to June. 
Finally, France is set to witness presidential elections in April. However, issues of livelihood have not figured prominently in many of the discussions of the elections. How do French unions see these coming elections and what are their demands? In fact, we, we speak about salaries, we speak about protection, we speak about health, because in France we are in an uh, election period. And uh, in April, the French people will choose a new president. And for the trade unions, it's very important to speak about these social problems, and not about the uh, uh, problem choose by medias or by the conservatives or fascist people. Uh, they want to speak about immigration, security, but, but for for us and for my trade unions, it's necessary, it's important to speak about social, to speak about salaries, to, be, to speak about uh, unemployment. Because I, I, I said that uh, in first, uh, during these two years of crisis, nothing has been done for the workers. And uh, it's necessary to uh, protest, it's necessary to uh, win a better world. And, uh, and uh, in the CGT, our new slogan is a uh, new world is possible.